Hey guys, my name's Bonnie Rackett and I'm a luxury fashion and travel editor, blogger, Instagrammer and TV presenter. I used to be the fashion editor of British Elle magazine and I've been in the industry for almost 18 years now. So you could say I've seen my fair share of fashion weeks over the years. I'm very excited because Friday the 19th of Feb marks the start of London Fashion Week and it ends on the 23rd. So for those of you who don't know, Fashion Week is a biannual event where all the major players of the global fashion industry descend upon the four major capitals. So that it starts in New York, then moves on to London, then Milan and ends in Paris. And it's an amazing, creative and aesthetic celebration where all the uh, models, designers, celebs and influencers from across the globe go to the cities and check out what's going to be on trend for the coming seasons. But this year, it's slightly different. Due to COVID and the global pandemic, things have completely changed. So this year, Fashion Week is going inclusive. Exclusivity is out, inclusivity is in, and you're invited. So for the first time in history, London Fashion Week has gone completely digital. You can live stream over 90 amazing catwalk shows, presentations, panel discussions, all on your laptop, on your sofa, and there's not even any need to change out your PJs. So who are the ones to watch, I hear you say? Well, my first stop is always Burberry, especially with Ricardo Tisi at the helm. It's sure to be an amazing, immersive or interactive experience. Um, I also love Victoria Beckham, Tempoli for all, all the sparkles, um, beautiful Preen and Erdem for the gorgeous uh, ruffle dresses. Um, but I would definitely check out Simone Rocha. She's due to do a collab with H&M next month, so she's definitely one to watch. And also Molly Goddard, who's famous for um, Villanelle's beautiful pink and uh, ruffle tulle uh, dress in series one of Killing Eve. So what are the trends that we're gonna see during Fashion Week this season? My predictions are we're gonna see trends that are basically on the two polar opposite ends of the fashion scale. We're still in the middle of a global pandemic. So one of the trends I'm gonna call techno protection. I think there's gonna be a real onus on people still kind of trying to almost shield themselves away from other people and stay in their own bubble. So we'll probably see a lot of cocoon-like shapes, um, a lot of protective um, outerwear, uh, bearing in mind we're still doing Zoom calls, I think a lot of the detailing on, on clothing will still be based around the top half, like they did in Prada last season, where they actually raised the logo higher so that you could see it on screens. Um, so that's a kind of practical um, and more kind of sporty and techno side of it. And on the complete opposite end of the fashion scale, I predict that, um, bearing in mind we've all been at home for so long, people want frivolity, people want love and joy, um, and similarly to at the end of World War II when Dior had his new look, where he had pieces that were just opulent and uh, voluminous and, and had beautiful silks and fabrics, we're going in that direction again, um, and we've already seen, you know, people are obsessed with shows like Bridgerton on the TV, so I think we're going to see a lot of kind of ruffles, um, beautiful, colourful, happy happy and joyous, uh, wonderful trend. I'm Obviously, you can tell I'm more into that trend. I'm already dressed in it. Um, so yeah, they're my two predictions. So if you guys want to be involved in London Fashion Week this week, which is which I mentioned before is from the 19th to the 23rd of Feb, um, head over to londonfashionweek.co.uk and sign up. See you there. <laughs>